Hi, Patty Stocker here from Westford Cat with a special series that focuses on regional artists that are scheduled to display their work at the Paris Center for the Arts Artist of the Month virtual exhibitions. The month of March through mid-April of 2021 features four local artists whose artworks range from nature, animal subjects, and landscapes created in oils, pastels, acrylics, and ink drawings. Cindy Harris, Oksana Zatkina Puera, John Sturm, and Mary Sullivan have known each other for many years. Harris, Zatkina Puera, and Sullivan all work in the Harvard public school system. All artists enjoy creating art on plein air or outside. I asked Harris, an artist who primarily uses acrylics and scratchboard, how they started exhibiting together. So Oksana came to the Parish Center. It was 2012. And I believe it was November of that year that she had her, you know, she had a solo show at the Parish Center. Mm -hmm. Then that inspired me to my daughter and I, my daughter's a um, photographer Mm -hmm. and she and I had a mother daughter show 2013 during the month of February. So we got uh, Mary Sullivan, who Mm -hmm. is an amazing artist that I know from school and her partner, John who's also an awesome artist. Yes, all of us were together for the, I think it was an old Holmes Day um, celebration in Shirley where we were painting outside and we were choosing a scene from the historical part of Shirley. So that got us all together. And then that's why I think that was part of the reason we decided to do this. And then COVID happened and so now we're online, which is, you know, the next best thing. Yeah. Technology makes it possible to continue in a different format. I love to paint outside the in plein air. And I, Oksana and I, the Rosalie's view of Mount Monadnock, I did with Oksana. We painted together that day. My passion are it's animals and especially I guess birds that's what my daughter pointed out to me I love the birds I guess that came from my childhood and in college I actually was a graphic design major and I went to the University of Georgia and I have always been environmentally aware and especially the endangered species are something that I I guess it it's what has inspired a lot of my paintings. I like to make portraits of animals and you've pointed out my, the eyes of my animals. I, I feel like the eyes express the soul and I guess that's where it all came from. I did a senior project in college of, it was a theme that we made up basically mine was about the national wildlife federation and they always have an endangered species week and i created um posters of animals that were endangered for that and so it's just continued on and i just my favorite thing is to make portraits of animals and then paint outside i just like to be outside i think I asked Cindy how she got started as an artist. Well, I started making drawings when I was three years old. Mm -hmm. It was a way for me to escape, especially I wasn't that fond of being in school. So I was one of the- Ironically, you're a teacher. (laughs) (laughs) I know. And I tell the story to the kids all the time. That's good. No, that's good. Because they can relate then if they're having that same sort of issue. So, right. Because art is a way you can, and I'll tell them that too. I can escape by making drawings. I didn't care how my drawings look. And I had an aunt or aunt, however it's pronounced, um, that was an art teacher that I, you know, she lived with us for a long time and then lived nearby and she mentored me because I really didn't have art in school, but she recognized that I had a talent. I don't think it mattered to me or Mm -hmm. 
and she, you know, I would go to her house and she would have me do, I did a lot of drawing outside. To find out more about Cindy Harris and her artwork, she can be reached by email at cjharris5 at hotmail.com. Oksana Zakina Puera enjoys getting together with other artists to paint plein air. For most of her landscapes, she either starts the painting on site and continues working later, or completes a small painting for future reference. Oil is her favorite paint medium, but she also does some acrylic painting. She sketches with pencils or a ballpoint pen. She loves the ocean and visits beaches year-round. To find out more about Oksana Zatkina Puera and her artwork, she can be reached by email at oksana.zatkina at gmail.com. John Sturm has spent most of his art career doing street art in and around the New York City area. John is never without his art materials, and wherever people are, he is exploring the possibilities. While most of his ink art was done in New York City, when he moved to New Hampshire, he started watercolor painting while hiking the trails of New Hampshire. To find out more about John Sturm and his artwork, he can be reached by email at johnsturm1941 at gmail.com. Mary Sullivan is a graduate of Mass College of Art and Design with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in painting and illustration. Mary works primarily in oil pastels and acrylics, concentrating on textures and shapes in landscape and figures. She's worked in interior design, freelance design, and education. To find out more about Mary Sullivan and her artwork, she can be reached by email at mpersull1946 at gmail.com. To see the entire Parish Center for the Arts virtual Un Plein Air Artist Exhibit, visit westford.org backslash PCA. Go to westfordcat.org or our YouTube channel to see other spotlights on PCA artists. For Westford Cat, I'm Patty Stalker.